Good morning to all of us. Please allow me to extend my felicitations to the management and staff of the Bohol Island State University for celebrating the 11th Charter Day today, October 14. Thank you so much for inviting us in this special occasion. I cannot recall how many occasions like this where we give honors to our retirees that I witnessed in my 40 years of thriving and surviving in my beloved alma mater. When we give something to someone, of course, we felt the joy and sense of pride as a giver. The receiver, of course, felt the same, but on a higher level of satisfaction. This is what we feel today as honorees. Thank you so much. Of course, Please allow us, the honorees, to express our profound gratitude to all of those whom we consider instruments of our being part of this institution. The late Mauro El Roma, Bohol Agriculture, Agricultural College Superintendent, who was so strict but super generous to all of us. As editor of the school paper, many times I was scolded by him, but still he helped us. He helped me. The late Margarita Penacario, my entomology professor, who trained and trusted me that even I was still conducting my research, I took over her class. And uh, when he was uh, taking her study leave. Also the late attorney Vistal, my Spanish professor, and the late Nora K. Acasio, my English professor, who honed my journalistic skills. The late Madam Yuli Padilla Joaquino, who trusted me as her student assistant in the guidance office. And with Madam Nina Mangao, our librarian, who also allowed me to work in the library as student assistant. Of course, to the late Matthew Limbago, for allowing me to uh, apply as team leader of the RP Canada World Youth Exchange in 1982 and for backing me up in the creation of the Student Affairs Office and for creating the Research and Extension Unit. I am also grateful of the present dispensation for their support, especially to Dr. Elpidio Maganti for his all-out support in the capacity building of all the campuses in the areas of research and extension in our effort to internationalize higher education, we became member of the Regional Center of Expertise on Education for Sustainable Development in 2011. I was grateful to him for my being a research fellow of an institute in Japan through Professor Mihara. In my 40 years in this campus in Bilar, I can't imagine how much troubles and difficulties we've met but in the end, we made it. At this point, as an educator, I have few points that we retirees would love to see, even if we are now considered outsiders. Let us always keep it in mind that education shall aim at the full development of human personality and promote mutual understanding, tolerance, friendship, and peace. In 2015, BISO was declared Green University. This was our achievement as member of an international body, the RCE on ESD. We hope the tenets of sustainable development is observed or practiced in the four areas of university functions. We love to see our university as a model in the pursuit of achieving sustainable development goals by 2030. There are 17 SDGs and as an institution of higher learning, we are commissioned to focus on SDG 4, which is to ensure inclusive and quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Higher education institutions like BISO are urged to adhere to SDG 4 targets, particularly target 4.7, which envisions that by 2013, 2030, each PIs ensure that all learners acquire 
the knowledge and skills needed to promote sustainable development, including, among others, through education for sustainable development and sustainable lifestyles, human rights, gender equality, promotion of culture of peace and non-violence, global citizenship, and appreciation of cultural diversity and of culture's contribution to sustainable development. We hope that the present administration of BISO shall focus on the noble purpose of higher education without the tent of personal interest, that all members of the faculty shall uphold the integrity of their profession as educators because this is where and what we are paid for. To attend to other forms of activity outside our basic functions as educator is an institutional liability. My friends, I cannot end this talk without my grateful appreciation and gratitude to all the management and staff of BISO, headed by Dr. Rigo Sevilla Pubar, the president, and of course, the campus director of Bilar, Dr. Marita Macalolot, for facilitating our retirement. In behalf of the honorees today, thank you so much. Thank you.